Hi, in this video, I will present you with an update for the copy paste DWG plugin. This plugin allows you to uh, copy objects in AutoCAD, use Control C, and here you can just click paste. It works with multiple opened AutoCAD files. For example, I can switch to another scene. Control C and just click paste. Now oh, there is a difference in scale. Uh, the script will look for the most recent copied AutoCAD files. I can go to another scene. Control C. And you can see here how there are different scales, so it's fine. Now, this update brings this new feature here. In the old script, if for some reason the user decides to change the temporary folder here in files this temporary drawing file location by default it's in the system folder temp when you copy a geometry in autocad autocad creates a temporary autocad files file in this location Generally, my users don't touch this, but uh, I read some feedback. In some cases, some companies, some users, they like to change this. And in the first version, uh, the script uh, didn't have the possibility to uh, use the user-defined folder. I will make a test here. I will change the default uh, folder. I'm going to use this path on my PC. I will paste it here and then click open, apply. Now, this is the new path. Um, for all AutoCAD scenes to use the new path you need to close them and open them again so here what you need to do is to tell the script where is the new temp folder so you need to click this this is the new path so click select folder you can see it here and it's important that this this is checked uh, now the script will use the new path. And by the way, if the user decides to go back to the default system temp folder, all you have to do is to uncheck this option. Now, even if you see it here, now when you click paste, the, uh, the script will use the system temp folder so so now let's test uh, the script with the user defined path here in autocad and by the way i already closed the three scenes and opened them again so that the three of them uses the new path so i will select ctrl c here, before I paste, I will uncheck this and I will click paste. And you can see that it's not, it's telling you there's nothing copied uh, because now AutoCAD uses a new path. So I will check this. This is the new path. I will click paste now. And as you can see, it works. I will try with another scene control c paste and a third scene control c 
paste and it works also the script now the code uh, deals with some rare cases where for some reason it was pasting um, the same uh, geometry even if the user uh, copied new things it's related to some internal errors now this script uh, um, is fixed and it deals with these special cases you will not have these issues you should not have these these issues now so if we go back to these filters they already exist in the first version so uh, for example i will uncheck everything and i will leave this um, this will remove the layer prefix from the uh, from the uh, pasted object objects so here is a, if i use uh, control c and paste you can see here in the naming uh, there is no uh, layer prefix and this is good when you want to um, select objects by name now another thing Sometimes if you are importing some geometries, copy some geometry here, control C, now you notice that these uh, geometries, they come with uh, some default uh, materials you can choose this option here this will clean the pasted uh, geometry from all materials applied so now if I click paste again you can see that they don't have any material now. Also, for this option here, um, sometimes you have uh, blocks in AutoCAD, groups, and you create instances from them. Here I have this this block with instances and this block with instances and here also these 3D geometries. Now, I will use control C and here you can see uh, you have these hierarchies here. If you click on the parent you can see that this is a block style parent and these are difficult to manage and work with in max i will reset i will check this option and paste again now you don't have this issue now these are just splines and meshes uh, what you see here are, is just the name, simply. Also, you have the option to make the pasted objects uh, selected. If, this is useful in, if you have a complex scene, and uh, this will make it easy for you to select them. Or, if you like, you can check this option and the script will put them all in a group and see here with uh, this default name imported CAD objects you can ungroup them after that <laughs> yeah. 
Now, finally, if you want to uh, use some options in the, imp uh, the default import DWG DXF dialog box, you can check this option here. Now, first, uh, choose your settings here and then check this uh, option here and click paste. What will happen is that you will see this familiar AutoCAD DWG DXF import options. You can change your settings here. You can do weld or whatever you want. You can choose uh, entity, for example. And uh, when you click OK, the objects will be imported, pasted uh, using these options here and the options you set here. Now to install the script, when you download and extract the zip file, there is a readme text file. Inside you can uh, see how you can uh, install it. And also, if you already use the old version, uh, you can see how you can uninstall first the old version and install the new one. Here. There are two links to my YouTube channel and uh, plugins playlist in that channel. And uh, basically that's it for this video. Hope you like the plugin. If you do, please press the like button, subscribe to the channel and see you in the next video. Thank you.